What's up everyone and welcome to the channel and in this video what I'm going to be showing you guys is a solo method that we can be using in the game to be getting AP points, to be getting RP points. Now for this what we're going to be doing is just going up to the spectator box in our arena. If you guys don't have an arena don't worry you can do this anyways and I'll be showing you that here in just a second. You can be actually going outside and buying a ticket for the spectator box. All right, so that's going to be important right there. You guys want to make sure that your matchmaking is set to open, okay? And then all I'm going to do is just walk up to this door. It's free. Otherwise, it would only cost $10. Not very much money to ask. Just go ahead and get into the spectator box. So here's the idea of what we're wanting to do here is not play the arena games themselves, but just get right to the wheel that is in here that we can spin, okay? Now, of course, this will cost money. It actually costs $5,000 every single time that we spin this wheel. So I don't know, really know what's going on here. It looks like I got stuck on some sort of black loading screen. Now, there are some downsides to this, and I want to go ahead and go over those as well. Oh, it looks like I just loaded into a match that just ended, okay? So, you know, the luckiest thing that could happen here is you guys load into a match and there's a whole bunch of people that are playing a game, right? And then you have a chance as many times as possible to go up to the wheel and spin it. Now, by spinning it, the very most amount of AP that you can get is 250. Uh, I think the most amount of RP that you guys might be able to get off that is 10,000. And then you can also land on something like a free spin, an RC Bandito, and or getting some money back you know, like $10,000 or something like that, even though each spin will end up costing $5,000. Okay, so I wasn't able to get into that match for some reason. It ended up timing out. So here we go. We can just go right up to the arena and buy a ticket for the spectator box, you guys. We don't have to do the arena jobs, even though doing the arena jobs is going to be good because that's also going to be getting us AP, but potentially not as much as the wheel can get you. But that's if you're lucky enough to get in here because what has to happen here the criteria there has to be people playing arena war okay like there has to be people playing arena war for you to be able to get into the spectator box so once again it looks like i'm getting stuck on this black loading screen this can be a, a bit time consuming also you know i've noticed a lot of other youtubers posting things like this and they don't post a lot of the negative things around it it seems but here we go here's something negative right here you guys are going to be able to go into the spectator box but you're going to notice there is one two three four five six uh like other people trying to spin the wheel so your chance of being able to spin the wheel is going to be very very low at this time see i was like racing over here to try to like get a spin in or something like that but when you have four people on the wheel no 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 hold on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten people ten people trying to spin the wheel right here okay this is the negative side of it right here you guys this is like all you're doing at this time or all i would do be doing is wasting my time right now i could be out in the arena earning some actual ap and or rp but i'm stuck here on this wheel not even being able to spin it look how many people are coming in here all these people are just trying to spin the wheel because they went on to youtube and they found a video on something that we were able to do like five years ago okay well whenever the arena came out that's all i'm saying we've been able to do this ever since the arena came out this is not new you guys we've been able to do this for a very long time and just to let you know too you can do this. You can get some AP and RP. So right here, I was actually lucky enough to get into a spectator box to where I was the only one. So that gives me the ability to just keep spinning this thing, even though that there is going to be a timer on it. So you have to wait like uh, 30 seconds or something before you can spin it again. And check it out right there. Just got some AP, 150. But honestly, would I be making more AP just playing arena? probably who knows you know the chances uh you know are up to you whether you guys want to try this or not because my luck on it was not necessarily the best and just to let you know too you have to get to like rank 500 to get that space docker let alone you have to get to rank a thousand to get the rusty tractor and not yet in my whole time of the arena being in and playing on console have i ever seen one player have the space docker let alone the rusty tractor which is next to impossible to get let alone 
I think I ended up quitting the arena at rank like uh, whatever you guys see that I'm at right now. It was like a hundred and something. Uh, I don't really know, but let me just tell you, once you go up more higher with the AP, it takes forever, okay? If you guys are really wanting to be serious about this, you would probably have to play the arena. Um, I think someone did the math on it, and it's like 26,000 jobs or something like that just to be able to get the AP. And that was on triple, so you guys would be ending up doing like more than 100,000 jobs here just to get to the space dock. And I don't understand why Rockstar had to put it at such an impossible you know point because the best vehicle to get out of here of course is the space docker but you guys can be doing this to get the taxi cab as well which you get at rank 25 which is the first vehicle that you get and then you can also be using that for uh doing taxi work in the game but that's also in my opinion in an invite only session pretty boring and the payout is pretty low okay all right, so once we hit this right here, you guys can actually get glitched out supposedly. So I'm just going to wait on this for a minute, and I'm going to back out. So when I backed out, this is what happened. Ran into a whole bunch of other people that are already on the wheel. So you guys can see right here, the wheel is like completely full, and there is little to no chance that I'm going to be able to spin it unless I am like spamming right on the d-pad and or left on the d-pad at the same time even though yeah you can get some ap and stuff out of here but you know once again each spin costs five thousand dollars so if you guys have been doing like money glitches or if you've been grinding of course you'd have enough money for this but are you gonna have enough money and time and patience just to sit here to try to get to whatever level you could sit here for probably the next year and you're never gonna see the space docker because it's so far-fetched that they put it in just like what I mentioned earlier the more ranks that you guys go up just like ranks in GTA here you know like our rank the more like experience or whatever we need to get until the next rank level which kind of like irritates me because I've been wanting that space docker for a really long time but just playing the arena and all the jobs got so boring because I've already played them a thousand times you know bomb ball all that stuff dude and it's kind of sad that they didn't implement something a little bit better, too. And I don't really feel like the arena was technically the best DLC that came through. Because there's just not a lot of people doing the arena. And they rarely ever put any double cash or double RP. Or let alone, how about double or tripling the AP to give players a chance to go in here and actually win some vehicles. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they should put the Space Docker on the mystery prize wheel there over at the casino so we'd have a chance of winning it there. But as you guys can see right here, um, yeah, I didn't get very much AP and I spent a lot of time. So anyways, from there, if you guys ended up enjoying the video and it was helpful, hit like button on the way out, subscribe for more content, leave a comment, and thank you guys for watching. My name is Gravesite, and I'll see you in the next one. So peace!